Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me Cowboy Jack and I'm here in beautiful sunny Florida today and I've got a few of my really good friends with me. They're not actually my friends, these are my actual kiddos right here. I've got cowgirl Addison. Can you wave to the camera? Can you wave to mommy? No. Okay, no waving. And then I got cowboy Caden right here, my main man. Can you wave to everybody at home? <laughs> We're gonna have a really fun day here on the beach. The sand is so pretty. Look at that water, it's absolutely beautiful. And what we're going to do first is we're going to try to catch some fish with this little net and this bucket. Cowboy Caden's going to hold the bucket for me. Yeah. There he goes. He's got it. Now I've got the net and I've got Cowgirl Addison here. We're gonna, there's a variety of different sea life here at the beach, but the number one thing you have to remember when you're at the beach is always be safe. We never go into the water without an adult. And you never really want to go all that deep, especially without an adult. And there's a flag system that tells you what kind of stuff is happening in the water. Whether there's dangerous marine life or maybe heavy tides or rip currents. And we're going to learn all about those flags Dad, today. Dad, it's real important. Daddy, so, Daddy, like anyway, Moana. Just like Moana. Yeah, the beach does look a lot like Moana today. See, I'm out here in the water, but I'm not very deep. This sand is absolutely breathtaking. I need to clean off my net. A lot of little fishies like to hang out in this really shallow part and also sand fleas and stuff like that. But look at this. I'm standing right here and you can still see my feet in the water. It's crazy. Wow, you guys want to come with me for a second and take a look at this water? Let's just go for a little walk together. Woo, look at that wave. Wow. And see if you look down, you can actually see my feet right there in the water. It's like crystal clear. See if we can see any little fishies. All right, well, let's get busy and see if we can catch some fish. You guys see any fish down in the water? I don't see anything just yet. Whoop, there's one. Nope, didn't get him this time. Let's see here. Whoop, I caught some sand. Nope, no fishies in my net. Oh wow, you can see a bunch of them right down there. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. They're hanging out right on the far side of this ledge. Whoop. Nope, didn't catch any. Ooh, what I did catch is something really important that we should talk about. All right, Cowboy Caden, watch out. I'm about to show something, okay? Where'd it go? All right, right here, don't touch it, okay? This right here where I circled, inside that circle is what we call a jellyfish. Jellyfish can actually sting you. They're not a lot of fun. You don't want to be around them. So I'm going to scoop it up and put it back in the water so that nobody gets stung. All right, I got him right here in the net. I'm going to let him go so he can go do his jellyfish stuff and not bother us. And now we better move a little far away. Whoop, I just saw a fishy though. Let's see right in here. Boy, isn't this water crazy? Look at that beautiful skyline. The water in the air, the ocean, everything is just so pretty here. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, I'm not having too much luck catching actual fish. So I borrowed Cowboy Caden's bucket and I've still got his net. We're gonna see if we can catch a sand flea. Caden really loves sand fleas. It's like a tiny little crab, except they don't have pinchers. So what you wanna do is walk along the sand and see where you can see like some little holes. And sand fleas like to live down in these little holes. Let's see. Woo! Wow, that water's really rushing in. See, even water that's only calf deep right here in my legs can be dangerous. You always gotta be with an adult. Let's see here. Whoa, guys, check this out. Look at that. Hey, Cowboy Caden, come here, buddy. Wow. Fish. 
Yeah, you want to put them in your bucket? Yeah. All right, there's one. Grab the other one. Yeah. That is really cool. Look yeah. at that. They're swimming. They are swimming. That was so cool. What I think these little fish are, let me see if I can grab one. Whoops. What I think these are, are actually little bitty pompano. I like pompanos. You do? All right, see how he's got a little bit of yellow on his tail right there? That's definitely a pompano fish. They live down here in the salt water in Florida. They, we even have them in Texas, too. Go ahead and put him back down in the water. Oh, you want to let him go? Uh, well, please. Good job. You want to let the other one go? Uh, Woo! Hold on, let's catch him. Catch him. Whoop! Oh, he got away. Well, that's good. He's back with his family, right? I, I want to catch another one. Okay, let's see what we can do, young man. Wow, that was really cool. I was actually trying to catch some sand fleas, but I saw those fish and I just had to give it a shot. I caught another one. I'm getting really good at this. Come see. come see. Come see. Can you let him go for me? Let him back in the water. Remember, he lives in the water. That's the only way he can breathe with his gills. Good job. Now he's swimming back with his family. This is so much fun. Well, let's see what we can do. I was trying to catch a sand flea. Now, sand fleas, sometimes you have to kind of dig the net down into the sand. Let's see if you can get one. No luck this time. I kind of need to find like a little hole in the sand. Let's see what we can find. Oh, here we go. Look, guys, we caught a sand flea. I want to see. That's what they call a sand flea. Cowboy Caden's going to grab it. Can I ever put him in the water? Put him in the bucket. Hey, All right, let's go look at him in the bucket. Bye. I love go back. Now, he already dug down in that sand. But, Daddy, Daddy, let's go. See, he's got all these funny little legs on his belly. Does he tickle when you touch him, Caden? No, I got him. Woo. See how he digs down in the bucket Daddy. in the sand? Yeah, buddy. Let's go up. Well, let's let him go so he can go back with his family. All right, show the camera and show everybody at home that sand flea before you let him go, okay? Look, guys, he has pencil hands right there so he can... He actually wants to eat. He likes to eat seaweed and all kinds of stuff. He likes to eat seaweed, and so I'm gonna let him go. Watch how he goes. Woo, good job. Wow, guys, look at that airplane flying That's right by. Really fast. That is so cool. All right, well, we've only been out here a minute. We've already caught sand fleas and three fish. That was really fun. Come on, Caden, let's get down here. Addison, cowgirl Addison, come here. Boy, it's so much fun having my kiddos right here at the beach with me. Give me five. Other hand. Jump up. Whoa, did y'all see how high he jumped? Hey, you wanna see how high I can jump? You wanna jump with me? Let's do one, two, three. Uh, woo, that was a lot of fun. All right, now Cowboy Caden's gonna hold my bucket full of water and I'm gonna go out here just a little bit, not very deep at all, and see if we can catch a little, few fish or something. Woo! That's right, Addison's splashing. When we're at the beach, it's a great place to splash. Wow, you guys hear the ocean roar? It's really going today. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna have much luck out here. Let's see what we can get. Ugh. Saw a little guy, but I missed him. 
Whoa, I did get one. Look at this. Now we can't keep this. This is actually a baby sand trout. You see that? I want to put him in the bucket. No, we can't put him in the bucket because he's Caden. Hey, teachable minute. Okay, touch him, but don't pick him up. All right. Now, this is actually a protected species here in the state of Florida. So we need to let him go. And that way he can grow really big and strong. And maybe one day we could even catch him on a fishing rod. That is so cool. Hmm, no luck that time. We got another one of those little pompano. Now this one we could let Cowboy Caden put right in a bucket. You wanna put it in the bucket? It's not, it's not filled up with water. Let me get some water for Cowboy Caden. All right. Now buddy, you put your pompano in there. Put him in there. All right, now take a look at that little bitty toadfish right there. He's upside down on the camera, you can see. He's got his little bitty tail. You want to put him in the water too? Oh, you know what? I had another one right here in my net too. Where is it? Teeny tiny, whoops, he's on the tip of my finger. Okay, I caught him in the sand, so I'm gonna put him in the bucket so he's okay. There he goes, he's swimming around now. Cowgirl Addison wanted her own bucket, so I got her one right here. Is that pretty cool? Hey Addison, can you make a big splash in that bucket? Can you make a big splash? Let's see you make a big splash. <laughs> I think she just wants to add a lot of sand to that bucket. You like to put sand in that bucket? See this sand is just so soft and crazy pure. They call it sugar white sand. She's gonna take it from me and put it in her bucket. <laughs> Cowgirl Addison, what are you doing? Are you trying to get in your bucket? Is that like Addison's little swimming pool? Wow, and look up there. There's all kinds of helicopters and airplanes all over the beach all the time. Such a cool happening place. And you know, we're really close to an Air Force base. So every once in a while, you hear these really loud jets going right over the top of us. Kind of like Top Gun. Have you guys seen the new Top? Wait a second. You guys shouldn't be watching Top Gun just yet. Whew. It is warm out here on the beach. Hey, are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, I'll put my hat back on. Wow. Hey, Kaden, let's let those fishies go. Okay, buddy? You ready to let him go? Why don't you just bring the whole bucket out to the water and we'll dump it out? All right, Cowboy Caden, let's let those fishies go, okay, buddy? What'd you say, bug? Can you try to catch them for me? Yeah, I will, but you gotta let them go, okay? But I want to catch them for me. Yeah. Okay, can you show them to the camera and tell them what kind of fish that is? This is... Pompano. 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 And he has to be let go. Good job, buddy. Now, you want to let these little guys go? I don't know what those guys are called. Let's just dump them out. They're so tiny, you wouldn't want to hurt them when you touch them, okay? Addison just took a spill in her bucket. Daddy, let me. All right, dump him out. Let's just dump him out. All right, wow. Hey, Cowboy Caden, show her, show everybody at home the little fish before you let him go. All right, well, let's let him go so he can go breathe. All right, well, I think that's our sign. Cowboy Caden really wants to go check out the pool, so we better get going. I think we're gonna stop by and learn about those flags for a second. 
All right, cowboys and cowgirls, like we talked about, there's all these different flags to signify what's going on on the beach that day. As you can see today, there's a yellow and a purple flag. Let's go find out what those mean. Come on. Oh, wow. So all these different flags mean something new in the environments going on. So as you can see, when it's a double red flag, that means the water is closed to the public, probably because of like a riptide or a high current. A red flag means high hazard, like high surf and strong currents. You definitely gotta be careful on those days. Yellow flag, like today, means medium hazard. That's moderate surf, moderate currents. It's just a little bit more than what you bargained for, so you have to be really careful and always make sure you're with an adult. And then, of course, you have green flag, which means low hazard, calm conditions. It's absolutely perfect on the beach that day. And then you have this purple flag. You can't really see that that's purple. This sign's a little bit faded but that means dangerous marine life. And if you look at the flags up here today, they have the purple flag out. Now what that could mean is that there's just a lot of jellyfish activity, we caught one of those, or there could be some sharks or something like that. The beach has salt water and there's all kinds of marine life in salt water. So you just have to be aware of your surroundings and make sure you're being safe. Whoo! Boy, it is sunny and bright here at the beach today. It is really, really hot. Hey, are you guys laughing at my hair again? Well, there's something that we need to talk about. Let me get my hat back on. Woo! Sunscreen. It's always really important to wear sunscreen when you're out at the beach. We don't normally wear long sleeves. I mean, I'm Cowboy Jack, so I'm wearing this outfit. But normally you would just have like a swim shirt on. Maybe it's long sleeve, but maybe it's not. But you have to protect your face, your arms, your legs. And you know what's really funny? You don't ever think about this, but a lot of people have skin problems with the tops of their feet because we don't put sunscreen on the top of our feet and then our feet get burned and they end up get, having problems down the road. So always make sure to put sunscreen on your face, arms, anywhere you have exposed skin, your shoulders, of course, your back. Your back can be really challenging to reach, so you might need to get a parent or an adult to help you out with that. But always make sure to put it on your feet too. You know something else interesting that we don't talk about a lot? These sand dunes right here. Now sand dunes are a very unique ecosystem right here at the beach. But you know what they're home to? A lot, a lot, a lot of rattlesnakes. That's why we never play in the sand dunes. They're actually a protected area for wildlife. So you would never want to go climbing off in there. You don't know what you'd run into. Definitely some saltwater rats, but also those rattlesnakes. And you don't want to play with a rattlesnake, that's for sure. Whew. I'm glad I don't have my cowboy boots on today. I've got these flip-flops. Cowboy boots just wouldn't work with my attire for the beach, right? <laughs> oh, this is really interesting too. You see what this picture is of right here? That's a Ripley sea turtle. That's really cool. The Destin to 30A area is home to a ton of different species of saltwater turtles, sea turtles as we call them. And so if you ever see an area roped off on the beach, that's actually a sea turtle nesting area. So you need to be really careful and respect those boundaries because you wouldn't want to disturb a sea turtle nest. They lay their eggs and it's a lot of hard work. We got to make sure that they get to hatch and grow just like us. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, what a blast we had here in Miramar Beach. I'm really glad I had little cowgirl Addison here with me and cowboy Kate and wave again to everybody at home. So make sure you click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube and that way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. But until next time, and help me, one, two, three. Yeah! <laughs>